Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Outdoor and Door Texan. Today we're going to be making a homemade hot sauce with fresh habanero peppers. Uh, so grab some gloves, pick up some peppers, and let's get to cooking. The habanero pepper in particular is an excellent base for hot sauce. It has plenty of heat, but it also has floral and fruit notes which marry really well to a bunch of different ingredients. Long story short, it won't be just pain in the bottle, it'll actually taste good too. Now we're going to start this recipe by placing a half pound of habanero peppers and about six crushed cloves of garlic onto a baking sheet. Then drizzle everything with olive oil. If you don't have a habanero plant nearby, many local grocery stores will carry them fresh during the growing season, which is spring and summer. Beyond that, there's also always the internet. Once everything has a nice coating of olive oil, place the sheet into your oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. While you wait for that oven timer to go off, warm a pan with about a tablespoon of olive oil in it over low to medium heat. Add one chopped onion, and one cup of chopped carrots. Now cook them down until the onions translucent and the carrots are softened. After 15 minutes in the oven, both the peppers and the garlic should have a nice brown and blistered exterior. Now that your carrots and onions are softened and your pepper and garlic is roasted, transfer everything together into a blender. Add half a cup of water and half a lime's worth of juice uh, before turning it on and starting the blend. Now to smooth out the sauce as well as help make the bottles more shelf stable, we're going to add one cup of white vinegar. You can add even more vinegar at this stage if you want to thin the sauce out even further, but personally I've found that one cup works perfectly for this ratio of solids. Now we're going to add about half a tablespoon of salt. And quick shout out to my wonderful sister who got me this very chefy salt holder for my birthday. Thanks, Ash. Up next is the tasting. A little nip will do you, but please do make sure to actually taste it. It's vital to know at this point if you prefer more salt or if it's lacking anything else as you build your own flavor profile. You don't want to get all the way to the end. Open up a bottle and get all bummed out because it just doesn't taste right. Taste as you go. Final ingredient is a spoonful or two of sugar. Sugar actually blocks your capsaicin receptors in your mouth, which is what picks up that spicy signal for your brain. So sugar is often used in spicy food as a way to mellow out that heat, but still keep the unique flavor of peppers. If you want to really ease up on the spiciness, use more sugar. If you want it to be super hot, use less sugar. Again, taste as you go.
Now that we're happy with our flavor, it's time to strain our sauce. Take a large glass bowl and place a sieve over it, and then slowly pour your sauce over the sieve. Use a latex spatula to gently push that sauce through. What you'll end up with is a thick paste of pepper seeds and pulp stuck in the sieve, uh, which will make your hot sauce a whole lot easier to pour. Also, you can save that thick pepper mash and do all kinds of spicy cooking things with it. I personally like to dehydrate it and make a spicy seasoning uh, that I add to barbecue rubs to give it a little kick. Final step to your hot sauce is bottling it. I personally like to use five ounce bottles that I found on Amazon so I can portion out a couple as gifts and then work my way through the rest over time. That being said, just about any container will work. Mason jars, old hot sauce bottles you've saved, or just keep it all in a big glass bowl and impress your friends with a bucket of hot sauce in your fridge. An important tip while bottling is to keep mixing your sauce in between pours. If you don't, you'll end up with an inconsistent liquid from one bottle to the next, where one will be thick and the other will be really runny. Once you've got your bottles poured, you're done. Now the best and safest storage for your sauce will always be in the fridge. There is a good amount of vinegar in it, but why risk it? If you keep it in the fridge, it'll stay good for months on end, even though most bottles get emptied well before that. Like I said at the beginning, habanero peppers are very unique and build a beautiful hot sauce flavor. Try this on chicken, pork, or other white meat since it has so many fruit notes, but it's just a delicious overall sauce and adds a great kick to just about anything. Well, that'll do it for this recipe and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see any other hot sauce formulas I'll come up with. I have no shortage of hot peppers. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe for more great content to come. All right, y'all. Take care.